Hi, welcome to AEO. My name is Simon. Let me introduce the AEO booth for the CES 2024. So this is the award-winning uh, new product launch. So here is our carpet. Welcome to the AEO smart carpet. So here you can see that at the first glance, this is a 55 inch pillar to pillar, super low power uh, automotive display, integrating the camera and all kinds of sensor and also with the driver monitoring system and the active privacy functions. So also in the windshield, we have a reflection type, uh, high brightness, local dimming display, also with very low power. And so here you can see that with very intuitive operation that we can put many functionality through one finger and uh, combine with the windshield display so that in the future, the driving will be much easier. And then at the right side, you can see this is the best innovation award of the CES, the transparent uh, micro LED for the, for the side window. So here you can interact and also combine with some commercial services or uh, the advertisement. And also you can even do the video conferencing on the car through your window or yeah so this is the micro led and here you can also combine the augmented reality so that uh, for the safety when you open a door that it can alarm you where whether there is a car behind okay and then here we also showcase the micro led enabled the rollable uh, rear seat ent entertainment so this is the rollable display that it only show up when you need to have the entertainment so it's more like a display on demand that when you don't need it, it will disappear. But when you need it, the entertainment information, it will pop up. This so it's so cool. This is like uh, experiencing the future, right? Yes. This is going to be in the, in the loop, Las Vegas loop, right? The, yes. When the autonomous cars are right. going to go through the tunnels, right. you could have advertising all over the car. Right. And if you pay $10, you don't see the ads. Yes. Uh, but then you can watch a movie. <laughs> right. There's a lot of imagination. So you see that. For the, for the infotainment, traditional infotainment, we have those low power mini LED. And then for the new HMI user machine interface, that micro LED can create many possibilities. Uh, what's the resolution? Uh, what's, the, what's the specs of this transparent? This uh, is a 17.3 inch transparent uh, micro LED display with the transparency uh, more than 50%. So resolution is about 100 PPI. So very suitable for the window application. Also here, you see those dynamic uh, rear light, which can be communicating with passenger or the, the people or other vehicle. So this is the future trend when autonomous driving comes that the car need to express themselves com to communicate with others. Nice. Yeah. Uh, they could be ad ad advertising to the cars behind. Right, yes. Right. And, uh, uh, so there's a trend here at the CES 2024 with yep. the transparent OLED. Yep. Right. Right. And yes, uh, correct. what's the performance of this compared okay. to the other technology? Right. Micro LED is definitely the best technology for transparent display, especially compared to OLED, because the intrinsic inorganic material, which is more stable, and the lighting efficiency is much higher than organic material. So micro LED is the most uh, suitable uh, technology for transparent. So it can reach more than 50 or 60% trans transparency with more than 1000 nits, which is high brightness and reliable, which is required for automotive. So this is not doable by OLED. So that's the big differentiation. And also uh, what's important to figure out, are you gonna be able to cover the whole window and the, the roof and the whole like uh, you, you're not, the whole thing should be touch right and right the whole thing should be is possible that's a that's a good question so i will show you how we can make it big and borderless and also touchable okay yeah so Let's follow me yeah so on the other side of our booth we just uh showcase the latest the technology of micro led okay okay so a bit crowded sorry <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I need to interrupt you for a second. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. yeah. So, so here we have a 30 inch uh, yeah. transparent micro LED. So as you said, we need to make it big. So this is a 30 inch, very beautiful micro, nice. yeah, transparent micro LED. Actually, with, I'm not sure if, if you can see that, it's actually tiled up by four pieces of micro LED. So this is a tiling. Very hard to see. Yeah, right, very hard to see. So that we can cascading multiple to make this at least a 60 inch transparent micro LED. Does it have to be flat or it could be curved? It could be curved, it could be curved. No problem to make it curved? No problem to make it curved. The question yeah. is how much is it going to be very expensive? How soon is it in mass production? Right, this is a new technology in the beginning. The whole value chain needs to be driven, but we do see the roadmap that it's going to be a reasonable and affordable And level. it's completely? Completely transparent. transparent. What's the transparency? This one, this one is more than 60%. So it's, as I said, this is not doable by OLED. So micro LED really uh, the best the next generation. What do you think OLED comes. does in transparency? It's uh, like a typically 40% or even less. And the brightness is not so not so high. Yeah. Clarity, it looks like uh, you could be watching a long video or it's great for advertising. Yes. And it's great also to see what happens behind. Right. Because you want to see, for example, in Las Vegas, you want to see the sphere, you want to see the yes. tunnel, you want to see other things. Right. But also, also. McDonald's or Coca-Cola yeah. or... Right, right. For automotive, for consumer, yeah. for retailer, there's a lot of possibility to utilize or to use the transparent micro LED. All right. So, yeah, let's move to the second scenario. Second scenario is sometimes you need transparent display. Sometimes you want to block the interference from behind. So this one is the transparent state, and then we can switch. So you can see that there's a black switch, right? And, right, and then we can switch again so that uh, you can see the transparency comes back. So the scenario is that sometimes you need to focus on the content. You don't want any interference from behind. Right, so now it's a, no, it's not prosthetic. Yeah. Is it two layers? Uh, it's additional layer to block the light behind. Yeah, so, and it's switchable. Yeah, so this is another use case. This one you can see, this is the very high resolution and also high transparency featuring 163 PPI and the transparency higher than 55%. This is definitely the state of the art, the world best transparent micro LED. You see the border, you see the color, and you see the transparency. You see here the border is almost invisible. So that's why they can tile up. That's why they can really be utilized in, in many, many applications. So how do you make the micro LED? Are you using mass, uh, mass transfer? Mass transfer. We have, AUO has been working on micro LED for more than 10 years. We are definitely the leader for micro LED. We are making it happen on the wearable device, automotive, and many, many other applications. So it's uh, it's a new technology, but it's going to be a very important next Are, are there some micro LEDs shipped? Yes, we are now shipping micro LED already. Is it for smartwatch or what kind of device right, right now? We start from the wearable and also some TV applications. So it's happening now, right? right. Last scenario, but not, the, but not the least, is another application of transparent micro LED we use dual layer of the display so that you can see a very natural, no dizzy 3D, we call real depth 3D. So, so that by properly make the content so that you can create a real depth feeling. So no dizzy for the cluster or other applications. Yeah, this is one example of how we can utilize in transparent micro LED, yeah, to see what kind of visual experience we can make. The other side, you can see, this is what we call fine art. They feel like a real painting and they, they are certificate, they got the certificate from the museum that this is really like a painting. So you feel the texture, but actually it's a, it's a surface treatment technology and a content technology to make the display. Am I looking in LCD? You are looking at the LCD. And, but is reflecting the, the light or not at all? Yeah, it's reflecting. We have a strong light here, right? Yeah. And then by properly uh, surface treatment, then you can really feel like a painting, like a paper. But it has a backlight. It has a backlight. But it's not affected by these lights. Or right, it's, right. Is it using also these lights to enhance it or? Well, they, they are special uh, surface treatment. 
so that to make really a paper or painting like uh, yeah so when you compare with the cell phone the reflection is totally different and it can 100% show represent the, the details it's very painting. matte yeah it's very very matte uh, yeah uh, is this launched also or just demo uh, it's already in the market yeah it's ready so some market. museum already have it yes yes all right right also we we sell it with the content and also the beautiful display so all together wow. is this so also if I can have one at home uh, every day sure. I will have a new painting yeah sure and sure. it'll like be surprising me with the new art yes constantly right. yeah. new art or old art yeah we have some contracted content with museums so that it, we will push the content to your home so that you can enjoy the what's the resolution it, the resolution is uh, no more display is for this kind of viewing distance is like a 100 uh, around 200 PPI around okay. yeah right so this is the fine art all right yeah and here we have a ESG session just to, to to tell the customer and also the ecosystem partner how committed AUO is for the ESG ESG stands for uh, the environment and also social and uh, governance so we are the first uh, display maker commit to RE100 by 2050 so that's the commitment from our manufacturing process, our product power consumption, and the material utilization. It's all meeting the future trend of the, of the ESG and the carbon footprint. Right. And one example of that is maybe this display? Yes. Right, uh, you, you totally got the point. This is like a this very is a low power. Very, very low power. The here show the current. Okay, so it means uh, proportional to the power. So when the content is up being updated, it consumes more or less some power but later you will see when the content is static the power goes to zero zero right zero so it's a ch lcd or right. lcod or what right. do you say this is a cholesteric liquid crystal it's a special material which has the by stability so that when the content is static then there's no power consumption and also the other the other uh, advantage is there's no backlight behind so it utilizes the ambient light. So this is very suitable for the outdoor signage with super low power, even self power with a solar panel. It's a, it's using a color filter to make the colors, or yeah, there are some color filtering mechanism. There are some layers for the RGB different color, so that we can make a really very nice color. So it's a very smooth. high resolution CH LCD. Right, right. It's a pixel active matrix driving uh, cholesteric. Uh, and how do you crystal. how do you drive the pixels what's happening there when when it changes I see this thing coming down yeah, what is it a, doing yeah there's a driving sequence to reset or to adjust the status or the state of the liquid crystal so the driving sequence is of course that's part of the confidential but that's how they scan the screen and they update the content it's funny because the the first scan is seems to be a little bit dark and then it becomes brighter with the second scan somehow yeah it's right. adding because the inside the arrangement of the liquid crystal you need to set them to the uh, one state then change to the other state so that the by stability is achieved but it's an awesome animation actually it's like uh it's like revealing the information slowly and then making it final. Right, right. And then uh, it can just stay there. Yeah, right. So for this kind of signage, it's very suitable. It's not, information is not always like a movie, but constantly update. So with yeah. a smooth scanning. How do you think it will compare compared to a uh, color e-ink? Right, so the feature of this is color is more vivid and also temperature range is wider. So whether in the hot summer or cold winter, that this technology can work better than the than the traditional e-paper. Nice. How soon? How soon? This is already also on the market. So, so there's already some uh, stations, uh, some busted bus right, stops right. somewhere. We have some some design in already. In Taiwan or other place? Or? Yeah, in Taiwan and some other place. Yes. All right. Right. Oh wow. Yeah. So there it is. Uh, Twenty-four point five. Well, is it going to be possible to do all kinds of different size? Yeah, or? at least a thirty inches, no problem, and even even above because we are so good at so experienced in a large size display. So this kind of process is definitely. Can you add a front cool. light? Yes, for sure, for sure. Here we have some strong front light. You, you can add some from, front light. From there, right? Right, and integrate with the display. That's definitely doable. Right, so it works on day and the night. Right, so we have this kind of super low power to echo our ESG goal, right? And the other side is, AO is actually also the worldwide leading outdoor signage display supplier. So for those drive-through big screen outdoor 
waterproof, UV resistant display, we are the expert. So naturally we extend those expertise into the charging station and not only pure the display, but also the, the system computing system behind. So this is the kind of the solution for the charging station, including the, the video experience. Is, is this just an LCD? This is an LCD, but it's a very robust LCD with high brightness. Yeah, so we call it a signage, high brightness signage display, integrate with some IPC, industrial PC, so that for the charging station solution. All right, when it's uh, integrated with a nice uh, optical bonded uh, touch, right. yes. it's like a great experience and you can have a big, bigger, yeah. and many, many already on the market. Yes, many, many on the yeah. market, yeah. All, All right. right. So this wrap up the AUO booth for CES 2024. Thanks. Yeah, and thank you, you did get yes, uh, best right. of innovation. Right, right, right. This is our, it's actually the first year of AUO in the West Hall. And we got two important innovation awards. One is the best of innovation. That's for small window and the rollable rear seat entertainment in the copy we just showed you. And uh, this is like uh, becoming one of the biggest automotive shows in the world, right? Yes. And all the EV car companies are interested in this. Very much. And they're all asking, yeah. uh, how soon can we get like an... Yes. But you also ask them how soon you will make them, <laughs> right? <laughs> right, right. So yeah. this is uh, the best uh, opportunity to interact with our customer ecosystem partners. So this is definitely a, a very, very good show. Yeah.